What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, man, we have some unfortunate news, man. We got some stuff that I want to cover in today's video that I completely understand, and I obviously have, like, I get it. I completely, 110% understand the situation, but it is a frustrating situation. It's something that bums me out. It is something that... It came to life, and then it is it it was alive and well, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared off the face of the planet. And we're gonna get into that in today's video, man. If you guys have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, it is about the cross the line end of my video music. The music and the little outro music that I use in all of my videos, or that I used in all of my videos, has now gone missing. And by gone missing, I mean that it is done. It is more than likely done. I don't know what I can do about the situation. I'll kind of explain what happened here in today's video and that's just what I want to talk about man but they're definitely crossing the line on this one man it really really bothers me and it bums me out but let's get into it man it all started back at my room tour video my room tour for 2023 the day before was completely fine nothing was wrong I didn't discover anything or anything like that I didn't get any flags I didn't get any sort of stuff going on with that however when I uploaded my room tour it took me all day to get up the room tour video between filming it. It took an hour and a half to film the thing. If you guys are unaware of how long that video is, it's about 45 minutes long. That's just the length of the video. That doesn't include, you know, trimming things and fixing mistakes and making the video correct to be posted up to YouTube. So, I filmed that video. It took me all day long between cleaning and getting the office set up. You guys know that I organized my drawers. I, I vacuumed very thoroughly. Got the shelves set up. Got everything ready to go for the room tour because I wanted to make it all nice and set up. So, I get everything ready ready and I go to record the thing, you know, get through the whole setup, get it going, you know, I have to edit the full video, you have to render it, and the render time usually takes 20 to 30 minutes longer than what the actual video time is, depending on what it is, it just kind of varies time to time, you know, different, like news videos and short videos like this probably won't take that long to render, but when you get into certain long videos, it takes all day, so it took me all day between the editing, the rendering, the uploading process, it was a long day, so this is what put the cherry on top of the long day, I go to upload the video, the room tour with across the line, song the mind slip broken picture frames that is the name of the song if you guys are unaware you can go download it on iTunes it's on my iPod it's on my iPhone I listen to it all the time whatever you know it's on the playlist mind slip broken picture frames it's been in my videos for at least a year maybe over a year I have used that song so much it has become a whole thing here on the channel the YouTube comment section you guys comment all the time people cross the line this cross the line that figure cross the line this that and the other I go to upload the video and I take it takes like two hours to upload to YouTube for a 45 minute video, man, it took two to three hours to upload and everything was done and as it was about to be finished, it said flagged, demonetized, I, you cannot upload this video. Or if you do upload this video, they get everybody, every bit of the money. So, if you guys were unaware, when you upload a video with any sort of copyrighted content in it, this could include, you know, images, this could include likeness, this could include music. Uh, obviously, music's probably the biggest category there. But video footage, sound, music, people who own the rights to that music, if it's not under the fair use policy, which music usually isn't for most of the time, they can take all the money from your video. So it, it doesn't matter if you play the song for 10 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever the case is, they can come in and snipe all that money away from it. So, my video got flagged for it, I went to check it out, and it was Mind Slip Broken Picture Frames. And you guys know that I literally have this song in so many videos over the last year so I was like what the hell is this Brad I've used this song for over a year I have used this song so much why is it just now an issue when I discovered this song to put it in my videos the first time I discovered this song do you know how I discovered it I YouTube searched copyright free rock songs or copyright free heavy metal songs or whatever the hell it was I've used a lot of them over the years. I used them for pick fed pay per views. I've used them for surgeries, like when the trusty hair dryer's going, I'll play music over that. A lot of the music I use in my YouTube videos is from the YouTube music library. This song obviously did not come from that, so it was risky to use in the first place, and I'll get into all of that. However, I YouTube searched up copyright free rock music. And I found the Cross the Line song, and I thought, you know what, that's pretty unique. I, I like it, you know, it's like, as soon as the video ends, it's got the little beat drop, and then it says, you cross the line. I always liked that. I thought it was great. I thought it fit well. Started using it in the videos. You guys seemed to catch on to it and enjoy it. It became sort of a meme on the channel, or like a little deal that we all had amongst ourselves here on the channel. And all of a sudden, man, just the other day, it came crashing down, and I had to go start going through all uh, a lot of my older videos and start muting where the song plays. So if you go back 
and watch older videos from when the song used to play, sometimes it's muted in those videos, and I had to go back and mute all of those so that, you know, the, the, the video wouldn't get flagged. So that is something I had to do there, and it bums me out, man, because I really appreciated the song. I, if you go look up the song on YouTube and you find the music video, you'll see, like, top comments on their music video from that song that say, you know, MDT sent me here. here for Who's here for my damn toys videos and stuff like that, which I greatly appreciate. You guys are awesome. I don't know if that, like, I, I thought that nobody owned the song, and I thought when I heard the song, I was like, damn, I can't believe nobody owns this song because it's a great song. I enjoy it. It's a little bit outside the box there, so we put it on the channel, and then now I, I guess somebody now owns it. I don't know if it's been owned and they didn't ever catch on until lately. I don't know what the whole deal is there, but yes, the, the Cross the Line song has now been replaced. If you guys were unaware, in the last maybe week or so, I've been plugging in the new song, and I did use this song that I'm using now to replace the Cross the Line song. I used that song in the Hell's Gate pay-per-view. It was like the official theme of the pay-per-view. Knowing that it was copyright free, I knew that I could plug it into the videos without having any issues whatsoever, but I was extremely bummed out, man, because it was such a great song. A lot of people were like, R.I.P. to the Cross the Line song, and uh, I think I definitely need to make merch or something like that about you Cross the Line or, or something like that. I still want to somehow include it. I don't know how to do that. I, I've even thought about what if I could, you know, go buy the rights to the song. I don't even know what that would look like. I feel like that would be a very long process to even try to do. What would that price look like? Would I have to pay them royalties on every video? It's just a lot of just sticky situation. And so, I don't know. I, I don't know what'll come with that. I'm probably just gonna have to, you know, use this as a, bearing it as a chapter in the channel's history and be like, yeah, you remember that cross the line thing? And then just try to keep it alive some other way. But the song was the biggest part of it, and it really does bum me out. It sucks. I Again, I totally understand it. It makes a ton of sense, right? I mean, like, if you own that song and people are using it in their YouTube videos... I mean, it is like the last 20 seconds. It's not like I'm, you know, doing anything crazy with it, but it is in my videos. It has become a thing, and I guess, you know, whoever owned the song was like, nah, Brad, we're gonna, we're gonna take that. So I, I completely get it. I understand it, but at the same time, I can sit here at the same time and understand it while also grasping the fact that it indeed does suck eggs. So that is a whole deal there. I wanted to get on here and address it and just explain the whole situation, the story behind it. I don't know what happened. It just all of a sudden, man, I don't know if it was because it was a longer video. I could have swore that I've had longer videos in the past. I've had news videos go 30 plus minutes across the line. Never had an issue, but here we are, man. Apparently, uh, I will no longer be using the cross the line and uh, I guess this will probably be the last video in which I use it, and you'll see how I use it at the end of the video, but it really bums me out, and I would, uh, you know what, it, it sucks, man. RIPs in the chat for the Cross the Line song in the MDT videos, but that is going to wrap up the video. I just wanted to get on here and explain the situation. I was going to get on here yesterday and do it, never found the time to, so I do apologize for that, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below on the situation. Did you like the song? Did you even care that the song is gone? You can let me know down below, but have a blessed one, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Elite 100 should be here any day, and I will be getting those reviews up. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a blessed one. YouTube. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, here's here's the new real song, or the real new song. We'll never be